Okay, hi, my name is Michael, and I'm going to be talking about login. Um, there's a couple terms that you have to know before I start. So logging, that's the clearing of the forest for timber products, and they make wood out of that. I mean, they make products out of the wood and they sell that to other countries. And then I'm also going to be mentioning deforestation, which is the result of logging, and that's a mass um, clearing of the forest. And then I'm also gonna mention frontier land, which is the habitable part of the forest, which is the part of the forest for the plants and animals. So in my speech, I'm gonna talk about um, two countries and I'm gonna compare their economies and relate that to the environment in terms of logging. And then I'm also going to talk about um, why it matters, like why we should care. So my main claim is logging poses a larger threat to the environment than it benefits the economy. Um, the first country we're gonna be looking at is Honduras. So the country of Honduras is, um, it maintains a moderate poverty rate and a forest that is in bad condition. The current poverty rate in Honduras is compar comparable to the poverty rate in 1993. Um, according to webworld.org, over half of the population lives in poverty, and that includes both the urban and rural areas. To combat with the poverty, they participate in agriculture, and that would be logging. Um, Unfortunately, the logging in Honduras is considered illegal, but that's the way they <coughs> get their incoming revenue, and that's how they reverse the poverty. Um, now, the effects on the environment. Um, so we know that the biggest agriculture production in um, Honduras is logging. Um, at one point, Honduras was covered mainly in forests, but a 30% rate of deforestation has left the forest in a bad condition, and only about 52% of the forest remains today. And 16% um, is made up of the frontier land, and just to put that in perspective, that's about 36 football fields. Um, so, just to put it together, um, Honduras, their economy is poor, because most of the people live in, a, in, live in poverty, so to reverse that, they participate in logging, and that lowers the poverty rate. But the forests continue to suffer because that's how they get their incoming revenue. <clears throat> so my next point is, um, the next economy is Nigeria. Um, agriculture expansion in Nigeria impacts the economy positively or negatively, but either way that would leave the forest in an unhealthy condition. So logging in Nigeria is um, their main um, incoming revenue. So it's comparable to Honduras. Um, they also, um, the primary reason for logging is not only to sell for, um, to sell wood for other countries, but it's also for clearing the land for cocoa trees, which is another um, source of incoming revenue. So they produce the cocoa trees and they sell, they make chocolate and then they sell that to other countries. Um, unfortunately, there's a downside to planting the cocoa trees. Once um, uh, Francois Roux and Honor Zadie, both French agriculturalists, say that after farmers clear, clear the land, they have to battle weeds, low soil fertility, low moisture content, and so the cocoa trees don't get their, they're not in their ideal environment, so they don't produce enough. And so um, because there's not enough, the um, cost of living rises and um, the cost of labor rises because they have to take care of the trees and it, yeah. Um, so ultimately, the economy would just be low. It's in the slump. So how does that relate to the forest? Well, planting the cocoa trees damages the forest. They have to clear cut the forest. They, the logging that they participate in, that's, like I was saying before, they use that for wood products and they sell that. But then after they clear the forest, they um, plant cocoa trees, and then they also plant palm trees for palm oil, and then they mine for petroleum. And so, um, since 2000, and you can find this on treehugger.com, since 2000, the forests in Nigeria have been de depleted to about 11% per year, and so that's roughly 40% of the forest remaining today. And so, um, the economical wealth through the logging, they get their economic wealth through logging and planting the cocoa trees, and um, 
but that raises the cost of living and thus there is a slump in the economy. And so the economy is low and it can either benefit from their um, logging and planting of the cocoa trees or it can't, but then either way the forest would still be hurting and it's still decreasing. Okay, so then why should we care? Why should we care about Nigeria and Honduras? Well, the United States and the European <coughs> Union, they're the highest importers of timber from Honduras. Um, and that's according to the Environmental Investigation Agency. U.S. retailers, such as Home Depot, receive timber from the companies in Honduras, and they make wooden products, such as broom, broom handles, mop handles, tomato steaks, um, doors, fences. And so currently the government in Honduras hasn't found a solution to their illegal logging practices, so the forest continues to be depleted because that's their way of getting income and revenue. Okay, and then there's also global effects to logging. Elizabeth Smith, an engineering and scientific writer in, um, with a bachelor's in communication, says that deforestation is a primary factor for greenhouse gas, excess greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So when the trees are cut down and used for products, um, that releases carbon dioxide into the air. And the greenhouse gases that are already present, they keep that carbon dioxide in, which um, keeps heat inside, and then that causes problems for the environment. You can see um, alterations in sea levels, ice cover, and then even rainfall. So with all the information I've given you, I hope that you agree that logging poses a larger threat to the environment more than it can benefit in a economy. Thank you. Well, you identified the topic. I think the introdu introduction could be a little bit more interesting. I think you could just start, for instance, with some description of what's going on in Nigeria and in uh, Honduras and make that the background information. Uh, the definitions probably are not all that important in the context of the argument. I think most of the uh, information that you're presenting is self-explanatory, so that takes up some time. So I'm just trying to save you a little bit of time in the speech. Some editing would help you there. There's a lot of information that you present that sounds like it's an informative speech about the logging process in both Honduras and Nigeria. And that takes up almost two thirds of your time and it's just informative in nature. You're telling me about that process. I still don't know exactly what is in dispute about this. Now, you do have a claim that says that the consequences, the economic consequences are not as great or not as advantageous as uh, some bigger threat is to the environment. But I don't get any way of measuring this. You don't tell me what the <coughs> economic uh, you know, consequence, I mean, you tell me what the economic uh, possibilities are, and you say, in essence, that these people, first of all, it's already outlawed in, in Honduras, I guess, although I could use a source citation on that. So they've already taken an action to prevent this from happening. So this is all occurring despite the attempt to regulate and control it. it sounds like those folks are pretty desperate for money and the ability to survive. You know, if you're talking about how much CO2 is going into the atmosphere versus how many people are going to starve to death in Honduras because they don't have any... Uh, income because they don't have any jobs. I think that's a comparison that you need to make and you need to give us some better statistics on this. Uh, the same problem goes on with Nigeria. We get a lot of description about how the economy works and how this is integrated and you know the cocoa trees and all the potential problems that come along here. But again, we don't have any measurement, any way of weighing what the impact of the economy is versus what the impact on the environment is. And at the end, that's the only thing that your argument can come down to is this argument about whether or not it is, you know, the consequence to the environment is more significant or more important than the consequence to the uh, economy. And you haven't provided information to make that argument. I think I got way too much description of the economies of Nigeria and Honduras and not enough argument about what the uh, conflict is on this issue. All right. Thank you. <laughs>